The fifth edition of Stanford Binet Intelligence Test was published in 2003 by Gail Royd. This SB5 measures the intellectual and cognitive abilities of human beings from 2 years to 89 years old. If we talk about the normative sample of SB5, the normative sample includes 4800 individuals with 51% females and 49% males. This sample varies on the basis of age, on the basis of gender, on the basis of geographical region, on the basis of race and on the basis of socioeconomic status. Now there are two versions of SB5 that are available with the title of a full test and an abbreviated test. If we talk about the administration time, the full test takes 45 to 75 minutes for administration and for abbreviated test 15 to 20 minutes are required for administration. Now how to score uh, this SB5? There are overall 10 subtest included in this fifth revision of Stanford Binet test including both verbal and non-verbal domains. Each verbal test of this uh, SB5 has its non-verbal counterpart. Scoring of SB5 is done on five different factors. First one is fluid re reasoning, number 2 is quantitative reasoning, third one is knowledge, number 4 is working memory and number 5 is visual spatial processing. Now what is this fluid reasoning? Fluid reasoning is the ability or capacity to think logically and to solve problems in novel situation independent of our acquired knowledge. Now second uh, factor is quantitative reasoning. Quantitative reasoning is application of mathematical, statistical and logical skills to interpret the data and to produce new information. Third one is knowledge. Knowledge is based on our skills. Knowledge is based on our information about any fact and our skills that are acquired through experience and that are acquired through education. Fourth one is working memory. Working memory is the part of our uh, uh, memory system that is the second division that is also known as short term memory. The memory that stays in our mind for a short time period um, for 30 seconds. Fifth one is visual speci spatial processing. Visual is uh, related to images and spacious is related to space or distance. If we talk about visual spatial processing, it is the ability to tell where the objects are in space. It means that we are able to tell how far the objects are from our own self and from each other. What is the distance between um, our own body and from um, between the object and what is the distance between each and every object. So uh, the scoring SB5 provides us the broad scoring system because it provides a separate scores on 10 different sub subtest. Then it also provides us a full verbal IQ score then it can also provide us a score uh, iq score on non verbal domain then it can also provide separate scores on all of these five factors that are fluid reasoning quantitative reasoning knowledge working memory and visual spatial processing then the score of all these subtests are combined to obtain the composite full scale iq score it means that the sb5 also provide us a composite full scale iq score uh, talking about the reliability of sb5 uh, sb5 manual include all uh, types of reliability are included in the manual of stanford bne fifth edition interscorer agreement that is uh, interscorer reliability is uh, also used test retest reliability standard error of measurement internal consistency and split of methods are used to check the reliability of sb5 and reliability of all uh, types range uh, the range of reliability was 0.9 and above now talking about the validity of this test validity of sb5 was checked by using 
all three types of uh, validity content validity is used construct validity is used and criterion related validity concurrent and predictive validity are used to, to check the validity of sb5 and the validity range was satisfactory this table shows us about all editions of stanford binet test originally it was published in 1905 with the name of binet simon scale that was introduced by binet and simon in 1908 the second revision of binet simon's intelligence test appeared in 1911 third revision of binet simon intelligence test was appeared in 1916 the first edition of stanford binet test appeared by terman it was published by terman in 1937 the second edition of stanford binet intelligence test was published by both terman and merrill in 1960 third edition of stanford binet intelligence test was published by merrill with the introduction of single form lm in 1973 The third edition was published by Merrill, in which the 1937 norms were renormed. In 1973, the additional task was to renorm of the uh, previous norms were uh, renormed in 1930s. Uh, sorry, in 1973. In 1986, fourth edition was published by Thorndike, Hagen, and Settler, and the current edition that is. Uh, fifth edition it was published in 2003 by royd now sb5 is based on different uh, uh, deviation iq scores with iq classification this table uh, shows the classification iq classification of sb5 on the basis of their deviation iq from the bottom you can check that if an individual obtained the score of 40 to 54 he is con considered as moder moderately impaired or delayed if the score range was 55 to 69 he is considered as mildly impaired or delayed from 70 to 79 borderline impaired or delayed 80 to 89 score range shows low average individual from 90 to 109 it is considered as average score from 110 to 119 it is considered this score range is considered as above average or high average score from 120 to 129 this score range is considered as superior individuals superior uh, intellectual level and from 130 to 144 this uh, scoring range is considered as gifted or very advanced level and from 145 to 160 the score range is considered as very gifted or highly advanced in individuals thank you so much